Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's King Vita here, and I'm back with a special video. Today, this is going to be my top 10 favorite video games of all time. Someone actually requested I make a video of my top 10, ooh, my favorite top 10 video games ever. And um, that's what I'm doing. Um, requested by that person on Facebook. Uh, I'm very sorry if I don't know your name and I completely forgot it. But either way, this one's for you. So here we go. Let's get into it. This is the my top 10 favorite video games of all time with a special like one other special one. So on my left, over to my left, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So it's gonna be a top ten with an honorable mention because I just couldn't let this one pass me by. And uh, these are in no particular order. Well, actually, they are from particular order. They're from my least favorite. Now, that does not mean that I do not like these games. I absolutely love every single one of them. But they go from uh, least uh, favorite to th the best game, in my opinion. So, uh, let's get this started. And uh, these are cross platforms. These are not just one platform. This is many platforms. So, Okay, starting off, Ratchet and Clank. I absolutely love Ratchet and Clank. Um, I grew up with Ratchet and Clank as a kid, uh, playing it on the original PS2. And of course, I have the original PS2 game. And uh, this game is definitely no exception. This game is really good. Another great attempt at uh, by Insomniac and nailing it. Uh, this game is based on the movie, which is based on the original video game for the PS2. This is probably one of the best interpretations of Ratchet and Clank I've ever played. And I actually was able to beat this game without any problems whatsoever. Well, except for the final boss. <laughs> He's practically impossible. But it's so much fun. The jokes are like nonstop. And it's... It's what a Ratchet and Clank game should be. It's a reimagining of the original, and I'm all for it. Very fun, very awesome gameplay, awesome story, and unforgettable characters, especially Captain Quark. Very cool game, Ratchet and Clank. Up next, we have Halo 5 Guardians. Again, another game I beat on the first uh, on the first playthrough. Uh, well, not really on the first playthrough, on like two or three playthroughs, but another classic, instant classic game. Uh, I'm a huge Halo fan. Ever since I was a kid, I got into Xbox later on in my life, but ever since I was a kid, I've always been a PlayStation guy, besides Halo, because Halo's been my favorite uh, video game uh xbox video game for a very very long time uh, even when the xbox 360 came out the first halo game i ever played was halo 3 and uh then i played halo 4 and when halo 5 came out i had to buy an xbox one just to get this game now it does not mean this is the only xbox game i own but you know it was a must own uh for for me i was like this is oh xbox uh is coming out with halo 5 I have to get it. <laughs> Xbox One exclusive. This was a no-brainer for me. Very, very awesome game and well worthy of the Halo title, for sure. Halo 5 Guardians. Definitely one game you must play if you haven't really played it and want to play the Halo games. For sure. Next, we have... Contra 4. I'm a huge Contra fan. I, orig I remember I originally played the original Contra on the NES. Yes, on the NES. Um, and I really recall playing Contra 4 on the Nintendo DS when it came out. And I couldn't beat it. 
I could not beat it for the life of me. This game is well worth the type the 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 title it's been given, Contra 4. Contra games have been known to be very 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 hard. And again, this is no exception. This game is pretty tough. But once you get the hang of it, I mean, it's just like any other Contra game. Really 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 good game. And I again, another one I recommend for the Nintendo DS if you haven't played Contra 4. <sighs> really hard to open but yeah there you go there's a game there's there's a game there's the uh instruction manual and this is one of those nintendo ds boxes that brings a, a pouch for the um game boy advance so another great game by konami definitely a must play if you own a uh nintendo ds yes for sure and next, we got this black box. That's it. All right, moving on. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> this is <laughs> this is an um, this is a Nintendo uh, Nintendo psh, a Sega Genesis box. This is a Sega Genesis box. And no, it's not Sonic, even though I'm a huge Sonic fan. It's not Sonic. It's actually a very little known game called. Vector Man. Now, Vector Man, you kind of play as this green generic character called Vector Man. And um, you're basically uh, this guy who looks like a robot. You shoot uh, laser beams from your hand and you basically uh, control him using, you know, the, the, the Sega Genesis controller, obviously. But... But you play in a carnival, I guess, uh, a carnival sort of setting. And um, yeah, this is this this game is completely destroyed. <laughs> but yeah, it's it's super fun, super fun to play once you get the hang of it. And another must play un of unknown. An unknown gem. I like to consider it a gem because not many people know of Vector Man, especially those who play uh, Sega Genesis. No, you know, you have the... You got your Sonic the Hedgehogs. You have other Genesis games, but Vector Man is very uh, rarely seen. So I'm really glad that I own Vector Man. It's, it's fun for what it is. It doesn't have much replay value, but it's, for what it is, it's pretty fun. And it's a little lesser known gem on the Sega Genesis. At least I think so. Very, very good. Number six. Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. For the Nintendo Switch. This is not my only Switch game. There are there's one other Switch game on this list. So this is Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, and just like any other Smash Bros. game, I feel that if you own a Nintendo console, regardless of the Nintendo console you own, doesn't matter, I feel that no collector is, you know, no collection is complete without Super Smash Bros. At least one Super Smash Bros. in your uh, collection. Whether that be Nintendo 64, whether that be Super Nintendo, whether that be whatever Nintendo console you own, besides the NES, of course, because the, there's no Smash Bros. on the NES, but besides that, any Nintendo console you own and you do not own a Super Smash Bros. game, I don't know, I just feel like your collection is incomplete. I feel like you need a Smash Bros. game in your collection. And I really enjoy this game. This is super, super fun. Just like any other Smash Bros. game. I personally like to play as Fox McCloud. Because I'm a huge Star Fox fan. But Donkey Kong is also really cool. Mario is, of course. <laughs> Samus is really cool too. I really enjoy these games. The Smash Bros. The Smash Bros. games. Very, very cool. And uh, yeah, that's Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. For the Nintendo Switch. 
Next up on the list, we got Gran Turismo, the real driving simulator, Gran Turismo Sport. I grew up with Gran Turismo on the original PlayStation 1. As a matter of fact, I own the original Gran Turismo on the PlayStation 1. I could have chosen that one for the list, but I played this uh, more often. This game is super, super fun. I was never a big Need for Speed kind of guy because I didn't grow up with Need for Speed. I grew up with Twisted Ma uh, <laughs> Gran Turismo. <laughs> Sorry. I didn't grow up with Need for Speed. A lot of people love Need for Speed, and that's okay. That's fine. But I'm more of a Gran Turismo kind of guy. Because um, the first car game I ever played was Gran Turismo on the original PlayStation. And uh, this one was a no-brainer to add to this list. Um, this Gran Turismo kind of takes what, you know, uh, the other Gran Turismo games have done from the past uh, consoles. You know, PS1, 2, and 3. And kind of like quadruples it even more. There's more cars. There's more uh, customization options. There's, you could customize your driver, you could, you know, it's a Gran Turismo game, what do you expect? And it's super fun, very, very fun, and like my personal favorite way, um, my personal favorite driving style is the dirt, uh, the rally races, those are super fun. So yeah, I've probably put more than 100 hours into this game, <laughs> and I still haven't beaten it. This is one amazing game. Really, really uh, worthy of the Gran Turismo name. For sure. Next, we have an old game. Well, it's... It's not really... Uh, it's f based on an old game on the PS1. But it's, it's a continuation of it. And that's Twisted Metal. Funny story. When I um, first played Twisted Metal on the PlayStation 1, I was, first off, I was blown away because it was unlike anything I'd ever seen before. It was very, 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 very scary, at least to me, because I was a little kid. And the terrible PS1 graphics didn't help. It made everything worse. You know, it, it was like, oh, well, the game is scary because you could blame it on the very bad graphics. But the graphics only enhanced what was already terrifying. You know, the, the, the characters didn't have natural human movements. They looked like weird puppets. They ran like they had to go to the bathroom. <laughs> it was horrible. And I guess the bad CG kind of added to the whole, this is a terrifying game. But uh, this game as well is... Basically, Twisted Metal. It's cars with guns. That's what Twisted Metal is about. If anybody asks what Twisted Metal is, you just tell them it's cars with guns, basically. And it's super fun. I definitely enjoy this game. And this is one of the best, if not the best, you know, car combat games out there. I'm pretty sure the, the whole car combat thing came from Twisted Metal because this... I could be wrong, but this was the very first time I ever heard of such a thing called car combat. You know, cars with machine guns and things like that. Yeah, that wouldn't be popular, in my opinion, without Twisted Metal. So, definitely for sure, Twisted Metal. Really enjoy that game. Now we have one, two, three, four. Those are my, now for the top five. That was five. Coming in at number four, we have Power Rangers Battle for the Grid for the Nintendo Switch. I originally had this game um, downloaded on the PlayStation 4 as a digital game, but I wanted to have it physical because I love Power Rangers so much. I'm a huge Ranger fan, and... Um, I'm actually, you know, part of a ranger group or uh, tokusatsu, that's what it's called, a tokusatsu group on Facebook. If you guys are interested in any way in any tokusatsu, whether that be 
uh, Super Sentai, like, you know, Power Rangers, Godzilla, Ultraman, anything like that, I will leave the link below where you can find the, the Facebook group and, you know, you can join. A uh, very, very, very nice franchise, and I absolutely love the Power Rangers. I w I've been a Power Ranger fan for uh, quite a while, and um, this is just amazing. This game kind of takes everything Power Rangers, the entire Power Ranger lore, and turns it into one video game. So you're not limited to the TV show. Oh, look, that's Jason. Oh, you know, look, that's... Uh, from Super Mega Force or Gokaiger. You're limited to... You're, you're unlimited, basically. This takes inspiration from the comic books as well because that right there is Tommy from an evil alternate universe, which is Lord Draken. And uh, he is a comic exclusive character, which is amazing. Very, very cool. And also you get... Um, you know, you get the Ranger Slayer, which is Kimberly taken, being controlled by, you know, Lord Draken. You have the Mastodon Troopers, which are these guys right here. Right there, which are being, which are, uh, you know, the his grunts being controlled by Lord Draken, excuse me. And um, this is so much fun. I've probably spent more than a hundred hours into this game very 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 cool game and uh i'm super happy that you know uh people excuse me people are paying attention to you know um the uh the power ranger community and the power ranger community is being given you, you know it's moment to shine so that is super cool and um Big ups to the people at Maximum Games for making this. This is so amazing. Battle for the Grid, highly recommend it. For sure. If you have a Nintendo Switch or a PS3, or heck, and even an Xbox Three, uh, Xbox One, buy it. You will not regret it. Very, very fun game. Especially if you like Street Fighter and, you know, um, Tekken type games. Now, top three. <sighs> top three. Here we go. These are my top three favorite games out of this entire list. We got Kingdom Hearts 2. This was a super tough choice to, to, to make. Because I have so many favorite games that could go into top three. But number th starting off with number three, we have Kingdom Hearts 2. Now, Kingdom Hearts 2 is so good. It's probably the best Kingdom Hearts game out of the entire franchise uh, at the time, not counting Kingdom Hearts 3. But even with playing Kingdom Hearts 3, and I beat Kingdom Hearts 3, I still can't stop playing this. I cannot put Kingdom Hearts 2 down. This is probably one of the best games ever made for the PlayStation 2, without question. I remember I actually bought this game three times. No joke. The first was this version right here, as you can see. It's, you know, it's um, holographic, you know, hollow foil, whatever you want to call it, you know. And um, the second one, I remember I lost the first one. <clears throat> Excuse me. I lost the first copy, and I ended up getting another version of this without the holographic foil. But it didn't have the manual. And that kind of annoyed me. And then I ended up losing that version as well. I don't know how I lost it. I think I took it everywhere with me because it was my favorite game. I took it to my friend's house. You know, I, I took it anywhere that had a PS2 and I would play it. I guess that's how I lost it. And then uh, I was looking to, you know, expand my uh, Kingdom Hearts collection. Which, if you guys want, I can put up a video of my entire Kingdom Hearts collection if you guys want it. But um, I completely lost it. So I was like, well... I need Kingdom Hearts 2. So I ended up seeing this copy. This was the original copy. As you can see from the hollow foil or holographic or whatever you want to call it. And uh, I was like, I had to get it. <laughs> no way am I letting this chance pass me by. So I went and bought it. So um, another reason why I bought it is, other than the hollow foil, is because I was missing the manual. Yeah. This manual, I completely lost it and I couldn't find it at all so i ended up buying this copy which brought the manual and obviously you know 
the disc. There's Sora eating sea salt ice cream. Square Enix. Very cool. Very, very cool stuff. Kingdom Hearts 2, for sure. But, but, if this is... There's actually a better game than Kingdom Hearts 2, to be honest, with among the Kingdom Hearts franchise. If we're going to talk Kingdom Hearts 2, then we should probably mention its superior counterpart, which was only released in Japan. Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix Plus. I had this imported from Japan, and this is also a holographic foil. Yeah, this is also a hollow foil. And the back as well. Now, the reason why this copy is called Kingdom Hearts Final Mix Plus, other than only it being released in Japan, is because this is a special uh, uh, buy. Again, right there. J for Japan. But this is a special buy that was only released in Japan because here in America, we only got the game itself. However, which is fine. However, in Japan, we ended up getting, well, they ended up getting Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix. As well as Kingdom Hearts Rechain of Memories. I own this game, by the way. Not this one, but I own the American version as well. So, again, if anybody wants to see my Kingdom Hearts collection, let me know. But, yes. This was only released in Japan, and I was like, well, you get two games in one? Even though I can't play it on my American television or my American uh, PS2, and I don't like using emulators. I don't have any problems with emulators, that's fine. It's a perfectly legit way to play games, but I just prefer using the actual hardware, you know. I'm old school like that. But yeah, if we were gonna compare these two games, I would say Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix Plus is way better than Kingdom Hearts 2. That's just my opinion, for sure. So yeah, Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix Plus. And now we get into my all-time favorite video game ever, bar none. The best game ever made, in my opinion, to me. And that is, on my favorite game console of all time, The Legend of Zelda A Link to the Past. This game is so much fun. And every time I play it, I just can't put the controller down. I probably spent so much hours into this game just trying to beat it. And I still haven't beaten it. This game is that long and it's pretty difficult with all the dungeons and everything. But I'm still trying. It's so fun to play as Link because, you know, Legend of Zelda A Link to the Past is kind of like... I feel it's like the first game that I played, like I ever played, that felt like a true adventure before I even knew the, what adventure games were. I didn't even know that was a concept as a kid. So when I played Legend of Zelda A Link to the Past, it was, it was heaven for me. You know, I, this is how I basically became a video game fan, a massive video game fan to this day. I have everything to, to thank for. I have this game to thank for everything <laughs> that I am today. Um, I knew who Zelda, I didn't know who Zelda was, I didn't even know who Link was. Heck, Legend of Zelda A Link to the Past, I didn't even know that you played as Link. I didn't even know there was a character called Link. I thought you played as Zelda, until I discovered that Zelda was the name of the princess. So, Legend of Zelda A Link to the Past, super fun game, very long game, and one of those games that will probably take you hours, maybe days, weeks, maybe months to beat. Depends on how good you are. And uh, this is a game that really requires knowledge. You know, you got to pass through the dungeons and, and, and you know, uh, use certain items. This was really, really revolutionary when it came out. And I, and I think it still holds up to this day. If only they made like a, re, uh, a remake of this uh, on the Nintendo Switch. 
I'd be all for it, for sure. Legend of Zelda, Link to the Past. Definitely number one favorite game of all time. So, that was a quick little video of my in of top 10 favorite video games ever uh, with a honorable mention. <laughs> with an honorable mention there. And let me know if you guys want more videos like this. I'll probably try to bring them out as as much as I can, uh, you, know, you know, as often I, as I can do them. And yeah, let me know. Anybody else want a top 10 favorite anything or anything, anything like that, you know? So, so yeah, let me know. So yeah, that was my list of my top 10 favorite video games of all time. And this King Vita saying, laters. <laughs>